Hello guys and welcome to Usitility. Do you know what? We are on the way to see how to run the 7 deadly sins on PC. From now you are displaying it on your screen. We will be able to effortlessly download and install the 7 deadly sins and enjoy playing your game on our Windows PC using our keyboard, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's go my friends. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to the current URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to see on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type anything, because there's the link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We landed on this page on our own site of Usitility, at which we have a nice in-depth information on how to obtain the 7 deadly sins on personal computer. We scroll lower a little bit and just click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we arrive here on the site of LD Player, which the Android emulator that we will run to play the 7 deadly sins on PC. It is now obvious that we access a number of pros of preferring the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. Now we are on the way to start downloading the The 7 Deadly Sins by simply clicking on this button download The 7 Deadly Sins on PC that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on that button. And the download step takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. Ok, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We said yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installation software better. The installer is very simple. It is made up of two options, install, and setup path. I will talk about what setup path does. We only click it, so we discover that we, vague got here the path in which the emulator is going to be put in. If we desire to change for better this directory we have to click on this, browse, button and therefore we pick another directory and install the emulator specifically where we would like. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. I click on back, so I just click on install. Right now, before you start installing that emulator, it's possible that it'll show us more than one application packages to install on the computer. As I do not desire any of these computer software, I simply just click several times on the reject option. Voila, the install commences and it is going to progress in the download of those MB that are shown on the computer screen. After you save it on your hard drive, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed can be faster or slower, based on your web access and according to the speed of the emulator servers. Right now they are working extremely fast. The download is completed, so instantly it continues with the installation procedure. The installation will need a little bit more or less time depending on the strength of your machine. The more robust it really is, the shorter the setup time and vice versa. If we add together the download and software setup phase it may take a very long time, so be patient. It has already finished on my side. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started on autopilot. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets into the end, the emulator can be started for the first time. The fact is the emulator is already started, here for the first time. Plus LD Store is by default started, that is a kind of Google Play. It's not the most correct approach to set up the game, and so I tend not to propose it, since from time to time the LD Store puts an out-of-date version of the video game. Allow me to explain how you can install the video game utilizing the Google Play and I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we will have to begin doing is to visit computer's desktop by simply clicking this icon that I'm pointing out in green color. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it created two icons right here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon is definitely the only one we are focused on. Anytime we are planning to operate the 7 deadly sins on our PC, we double click on this specific icon and start the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or anything at all such as that, in reality, it's an app icon that we will quite likely never ever utilize. Why don't we make the following step, which is actually a must, and this is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click on and we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. In this case we have got to log on. At this time the moment we're right here, we are required to perform the following step that is absolutely mandatory. So we just click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It might occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and this fails to proceed. If that's the case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it may almost certainly be resolved. At this moment we shall type our email address and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For instance you could use the same email you're using at the moment in your own YouTube account. Therefore I am going to type in my information and I will return when I have completed it. That's it, information typed. 
And here is Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We can approve them all by pressing, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it checked and this will generate a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We click accept. The Google Play is presented by default and immediately. When the Google Play isn't started automatically and you have no idea how to run it manually, I illustrate how to do so. First thing is to navigate to the emulator desktop by hitting this icon noted in green. At present we navigate to the system apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Alright, I am right into Google Play. What we are going to do will be go here to search for apps and games. So we are going to locate the 7 deadly sins. So there we get it, we are going to go through the first result. There we access to the Android game. How about we then click right here on the install option that I'm just highlighting now in green color. And this will initiate the software setup. Straight away it would install the game, it could take a little while or it may just be very quick. This all relies upon on our own web connection. It has by then finished installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking the following option that I'm showing in green, to be able to use the 7 deadly sins for the very first time. We're currently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're on the way to just click that new the 7 deadly sins app icon which was created. This Android game is started for the first time. Currently there we get it, I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the sound level of that emulator. This is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we do not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we will switch on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This is simply the very first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon that I am indeed designating in green. And the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. Assuming that we choose to have fun with the app in full screen, we select that icon. And we'd without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in 100% screen setting. To leave the 100% screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we might currently play in standard display screen setting. At present, I am ready to demonstrate you the computer keys mapping that is really extremely enjoyable. This strategy we may be able to make use of the game app much more easily. The first thing is to click this software icon. And here you will have the ability to get the appropriate adjustments. I most certainly will leave the standard settings, though if you want to adjust that, you can also achieve it without having problem. I consider this moment to say that occasionally, when commencing the video game a dark screen appears, if it is so and you get the black screen and that emulator fails to commence, I comment a achievable technique. We would hop on over, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have got numerous resolutions. The following is the resolution we have at the moment specified by default and so we must choose any of these additional resolutions, for example this one down below. We choose it and therefore click on save. It is going to require us to restart that emulator and when restarted, probably the emulator will commence and this black screen will vanish entirely. As you can see, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is started in the wrong language, for instance, in Japanese. And therefore to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then right here throughout many other controls, we just click on the language drop down. We can also determine the language we need, English, Japanese, and so on. Once the language is decided, we could save, the emulator would restart, along with the video game, the next time we run it, will also be in the selected language. At present, you will find another information that we need to take into account, and it's that we will receive an email telling that a different device has been associated with our own Google account. It should ask us if we are the ones who have connected that device. Of course, we should not worry, since the emulator is emulating in Google Android electronic device. In order to identify which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we discover that the emulator is simulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our video tutorial. I believe you enjoyed it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. If so, allow it a nice like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have comments, concerns or suggestions, let them in the comment box below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams every once in a while, you have it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Click on any of these training videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye.